Hello everyone. Today I want to show you guys how to save values from the text boxes onto variables. So as you can see here I have a form. My form has uh, several labels. The first one favorite teacher and then there's a text box to it. Favorite subject, another text box. Credits, text box, tuition, text box. I have my message label or results label and I have three buttons. One that will display some type of message in the label, another one that's going to clear the message, and then the last button will exit the program. So first off, if we take a look at this, what we want to do is, some, we, if we run the program, uh, somebody, the user will type in uh, some text. That value will be saved as a string. This, this, uh, that, that's for the first uh, text box favorite teacher the second text box favorite subject the same thing it'll be saved as a string now this one's going to be different though the third one credits Wow, what are we talking about there well let's use whole numbers so this will be integers so uh, a student will take you know 10 credits 12 credits so we'll use whole whole numbers for this suppose that there wasn't any half credit here okay the fourth one will be tuition we're talking about a dollar amount so we're talking decimal so we will be saving our, the value from this text box into a decimal data type so let's take a look at the code I'll go to view code and as you can see the beginning I have we're used to seeing already uh, some comments we have our uh, some statements here that we need to have we already have the exit button programmed, the clear button programmed. Now let's get to the good stuff. Let's look at this area here. So the first part, I have comments here, variable declaration statements. So I have, I'm going to be declaring several variables, one for each of these input text boxes. So there's four of them. And as you can see, I have four um, variable declarations statements. The first one, I named it, well, we always start with the keyword dim. Then the name of our variable is str, favorite teacher, as string. Okay, that's the format that we're doing. The second one very similar to the first one just the only thing that's different is str favorite subject now the third and fourth one I put comments over them but just for purposes I will erase the comments but I'll put them back on there right now the third one says dim int credits remember we always start with what the data types gonna be it's gonna be an integer and then credits that's the name int credits is the name of our third variable and that is of data type integer fourth one dim des tuition as decimal okay the fourth one is going to be of data type decimal all right now the reason i put um, comments is because i'm not going to be using them out anywhere else in code i'm going to show that part in another video how do we use these variables so for now let's just put comments on them so that way we don't get any squiggly lines in our code we don't get any errors in our code <clears throat> the second part of this code here is this area here in this section what we want to do is save the value from a text box into the variable so whenever we see the equal sign as you can see here we see the equal sign we always want to start on the right hand side of the equal sign and we'll take a look at what's going on so here right side of the equal sign we look at the first item it says teacher text box well teacher text box is an object and we are obtaining the text from the text property of the teacher text box we are obtaining whatever value is in there and we're saving it into this variable str favorite teacher okay so that's the way this is this works 
same thing on the for the subject subject text box dot text just to let you know this text box is called favorite uh, str no teacher text box and then this one's called subject text box so we're saving what's uh, in the text property of both of the of this of these text boxes and we're saving them into their respective variables now we're not going to be doing anything with um, integers and decimals yet that'll be a future uh, video but for now that's how we're doing now the third the third thing that we're looking at in this uh, code is the output now here we have output to the results label now in the past we just have results label dot text equals and in quotation marks we would have our um, we would have something like this results label dot text equals and then we would have you know my favorite you know teacher blah 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 but this time just for simplicity purposes what I want to do is I want to include your fa the favorite teacher whatever was typed in here and the favorite subject now depending on the user these things will change so that's why it's called a variable because it the values change but the name of the variable stays the same so every time you you use uh, run this program the variables stay the same but the value of the variable is what changes so here this is how I'm going to include my favorite teacher and I have a little plus sign and then quotation marks with some empty space this will create some space and I'm also appending I'm also including the str favorite subject okay so check this out so now when I run it let's run this little program here so here under favorite teacher let's put Mr. Morales I like that guy favorite subject let's put visual basic now things can change obviously right maybe Mr. Morales is not your favorite so you can type in whatever teacher and favorite subject you have tuition let's put just this amount for simplicity purposes let's click on display and now we have the name of your favorite teacher we have some space and then the favorite subject that's this code here clear it exit so in conclusion this code shows you how to save values from a text box Save in, uh, so you can save them into a, a variable and uh, in the future I will show you how to save integers and decimals thanks for watching